Hey guys, I'm Jeff with Bailey Custom Boats. And I'm David. We're here at the International Boat Show in Fort Lauderdale. Wade, we just want to show you a little bit about the boat and uh, talk about it, show you some of the key features of this one. This boat right here is the first boat. It's our prototype, built it for a client. Every single one of our boats is custom made. There are no two boats just like it. The wood here, we got sinker cypress wood. Depending on which plank of board you're looking at, it could be either 150 to 200 years ago, it was cut down with the ax by hand was by settlers. The coloring is, is actually not a stain. The coloring comes from the nitrates and the minerals you know, in the bottom of the Mississippi River, yeah. right? From so what, it, it sits down there for 150 to 200 years, sucks up all the natural uh, minerals, nitrates in the water, it gives that real beautiful color, a bunch of color variation in it. You got your darker, your lighter, your orange or your yellower colors. And we can do a boat out of any color you want, multiple colors to choose from. But it's beautiful wood. I like those lights. You got lights in all the Light cup up holders. Cup holders. You can do any color you want any brand uh, the varnish on it is a two-part epoxy clear coat it's the ones they use for jets airplanes a lot of it's a real heavy duty clear coat varnish it's it's hard to wear and tear it'll last about eight to ten years depending on where you store it and how good of care you take of it and got a lot of storage every, compartments yeah here. a lot of storage really space. Good. very i mean we use about every inch of this boat that we can you know awesome so tell me a little bit about what we got underneath the seats here all right, so here we have a cooler. You can, you know, put you about two cases in there. Uh, Man, that's big. That's nice. We do aluminum on the bottom. So a lot of, a lot of boats and people, they use uh, plywood, but over time that plywood will rot. And so this will last you a lot longer than that plywood will, a lot sturdier. Um, and there's and there's drain holes down there. Yeah, it's drain. It's a cooler. It drains into the so bottom. So it drains of the boat. right it drains down out to the back the, to the bottom. Yeah. Uh, it can be used as a footrest, extra seat, and this boat right here fits up to 14 people safely. Coast Guard uh, approved? Or? Coast Guard approved. Awesome. Uh, we have grip on the floor. So the floor, we took sand, sprinkled it on there, and covered it with, I think, two layers of the clear coat, because without it, you will definitely bust your butt. It gets slick, and this grip, this sand helps with the grip and the whole thing. I like that. It feels sturdy. It feels, oh, yeah. Even if it was wet, it feels like it would be... Yeah. Nice and sturdy, no yes, slipping. That's for sure. And we, each one of these seats come back as well, huh? Yeah, it comes with, uh, this one has a water hose on it to spray down the deck and the floor where it clean the boat off. But lots of storage. Uh, you got two coolers under this seat and two coolers under this seat. They double the storage too. Okay, and they got drains in here as well. Yeah, they double the coolers. Okay. So you got a big party nice. going on. Plenty of space to keep your drinks. Some speakers up front. How many of those we got? We got kickers up here. So on this boat, we have eight kicker six inch speakers. Uh, really great sounding. We can do any kind of audio you want. Uh, and I heard a little bit of bass too. You got some yeah. subs on well, we here got, for the uh, client. I guess that's what they wanted, the right? Two twelve kickers. Uh, so it's real nice, real nice sounding audio. Nice. But like it's all customizable. You want to do wet sounds, uh, Roscoe Fosgate kicker anything you want we got it so their imagination is yeah. limitation right yeah that's it right. seems like anything they want <laughs> and i saw that here we got a sink on this one yeah so the that's people that cool. bought this boat is an older couple so they like the finer things in life uh not very high tech they just nice. wanted to keep it simple you got a little wine cooler bottle right here you got and a it sink keeps it right cold. here it's got an ice pack yeah right? it's got ice packs in the middle it keeps the wine cold nice you got a sink the lid for the sink doubles in the charcuterie board. She loves the charcuterie, I like the wine. It. All the upholstery is custom. We do all the upholstery. Uh, we have a guy that does, I mean, it's amazing work. Uh, and no two boats are the same. No so two boats are the same. Everybody has something a little different. And That's I guess right. this is where the subs are back here. I see these. Yeah, so this is the porch for your subs. Okay. And you got the two, uh, 12 right here and a 12 on the other side. Okay. Sound great. Anything underneath those seats either? Or? Just extra storage. More uh, storage underneath there. Huh? Yeah, I mean, you got tons of storage on this boat. You can't wow. go wrong with storage. Wow. I uh, like it. Like Very I said, steady. it's an older couple bought this boat, so we kept it, you know, kind of tech friendly. You know, uh, they're not good with technology, so we just got your basic Garmin right here. It's got your depth finder, your navigation, uh, your fish finder, all that good stuff, a little Bluetooth fusion radio. So you could actually have two navigation screens here if you, you wanted could, to. Uh, we can do Garmin, Simrad, Hummingbird. You got preference, we can do it. It can be a lot more high tech than this. This is just for somebody that's not good with technology. 
And I like this. I think this one, this yes. this Bimini so, top right here, is this one electric? It is. Um, it's got actuators. Okay. So you can so hold it down in you case you was going underneath the bridge. To fit up under a tight squeeze bridge or storage, and it fits all the way down. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's a real, real good feature to have. We do have these arcs. We also have the, you know, your regular Bimini tops. Uh, they come in electric as well or manual. Back here, we have your fuel. That's where you put your gas at. We got a, a 95 gallon tank on this boat. This boat actually gets a really great gas mileage. just 3.2 miles per the gallon. It's really great, especially for a heavy boat like this. It's about a thousand pounds heavier than your average boat. Um, also, with our hull design, we got a 350 on the back. This boat weighs about a thousand pounds more than your average pontoon boat. 350 will push this boat 55 miles an hour, no problem. Turns great, great performance boat. It's, a, it's the best of both worlds. You got, you can relax on the pontoon boat, or you can go out perform anybody on the lake. All right, let's tell them about this. this. Is my favorite part. Y'all come on down here. Come on, come on down here. Let's have let's have a look at the hole right here. It's genius. I mean. Uh, what you guys did here with this hull design here, it's like a hybrid, it's, you know, it's, yeah, like, so a, it's, it's a, like a pontoon boat, but a V-hole. Yeah, it's a, little, it's a little bit of, it's, like I said, it's the best of both worlds. You got a little bit of V-hole, a little bit of uh, tri-tune, even got some deck boat up front with a dive plate. And this, so, is, and this is a 350 but up here? 350 Mercury Verado, uh, four stroke. And the hull is actually, it's all foam filled from the bottom of the pontoon to about four inches below your deck. Okay. It's filled with your Coast Guard closed cell foam. So, and then you rhino line top of that. Yep, and the rhino line top of it, okay. keep it dry. Um, so that's so everything that's draining up out of those coolers and stuff, or down. any other little water that gets yep. stuck in here, it's going to come down. It gets in this, on top and of it that comes rhino, down to it the just lake. Yep. runs right out. So what the, the foam means is a lot of your pontoon boats, your tritunes, they're hollow hole. So that means there's nothing in there. You get condensation, you get water inside your pontoons. I mean. It's gonna leak. You have a pontoon for a couple of years, you're gonna have cracks in the welds and all that. You're gonna get water in your pontoons, you're gonna to drain them. It slows you down. With the Coast Guard foam, you don't have to worry about that. It's, I mean, you can put a hole in this pontoon, ride it the same day, and you can ride it till you get a fish. I mean, it's not gonna get water in, it's not gonna sink. And I saw y'all making turns too. I yeah, mean, man, it's it's like y'all were going full speed and just turn the wheel and it's, yeah, still, uh, it's still bit. I mean, it was so, just digging right in. Like I said, great performance. You can do a 360, uh, lose very little speed. I mean, it's the whole wow. design is really special on this boat. And I know y'all got something coming with the, the wakeboard package that, that's yeah. not out yet. I know it's so, patent still pending. Yeah, but. we got a patent pending on that, so you can't really bring it to shows and stuff. But what it is is basically you put it on the back of your boat, and I don't really want to get into too many details about it, but kind of what it does is just makes like a four foot wake behind your boat. You can wake over behind, so surf on. Literally, behind literally, a pontoon right boat. Behind a pontoon <laughs> boat. And there's not many in the wow. market that can do that. Uh, and I and I, I do want to say this, because I, I think it's pretty cool. And I think, I don't, if, I'm, if I'm saying anything that, you know, give out too much detail, yeah. let me know. Oh, but, yeah. but you can actually control, you'll be able to control from, from, yeah. the, from the captain's chair. You can control if you want a bigger wake on the right or left. left. That's right, right there from it. Okay. That's right. Man, it's a really and, cool idea, and we're ready to put it out there. But we're and, still working this, out a few kinks. And, and this one's this has got the 350 on it. Yeah, 350. And we got all this wood on here, which makes it a lot heavier. I guess a thousand pounds Pound heavier than a, than, a, than any other yeah. pontoon boat out there, right? Yeah. But that whole design, it, I mean, combined it, with that weight. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful boat, but the whole design, the ride, is really what sells it. That's what we're trying to get across because you know people see the wood and they say, oh, it's heavy or they think it's a wrap. It's all real wood, it is heavy, but with our whole design, the ride is what it is. It's, it's what makes this boat special, really. And and this doesn't, you said eight to 10 years. Yeah. It's, a, it's a two part. Two part epoxy clear coat. It's okay. uh, like I said, it's what they use on the jets and the airplanes. Yeah, same thing as, as the Gulfstream jets. Yeah. And then what about the paint down here too? So this on is gonna be a, a powder coat, a powder coat over an aluminum hull. Uh, okay. It's got a little bit of clear epoxy on top of it to kind of seal it in there and kind of pr help prevent any scratches or damages uh, with that. And, and and now you're saying something about a dive plate up here because I know uh, 
Well, the other pontoon boats, I know when, when you hit some waves, sometimes you'll get yeah. that water all over the deck. Yeah. And then it's just running down the whole boat. Yeah, well, you can actually take this one into the ocean. Uh, it's good for up to three, four foot waves. Uh, we do the, the zinc plates on the bottom okay. to help with the salt water that will react with the aluminum. And so we have the dive plate, like you said. So what that does is your regular pontoon boats, instead they don't go over the wave, they kind of go through it. And that's real dangerous if you get a real big wave, it can sink your pontoon boat. This won't do that. It has a dive plate on the front. So it's kind of like this right here. And instead of the, going through the wave like a pontoon boat, you pop up and go over the wave. Over the wave. Over the wave. Man. So it's real safe. It's good for up to three or four foot waves. And I know we probably um, won't get a good a good clear shot of it here. Yeah. I know there's plenty of other other shots and videos yeah. out there right now where you can see. Yeah. And, and when you look at the front of it, it kind of looks like it's a tritune. Yeah. Which is what really got me because it's hard to kind of envision what you guys got going on here. Yeah, with this. Man, like, it's, it's something new in the boat industry for sure. The, I mean, the back end shows it a lot. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can I definitely mean, see it from the back end. It makes more sense. Uh, yeah. But yeah, looking at it from the front, it just looks like a tri tune. It really yeah. threw me well, for a and, loop. And um, people think it's a slow boat and think it's all oh, it's this, it's that. It's, gonna, it's very high maintenance or something like that. I, I've and seen they don't that. Know, I've man. seen that on the videos here, yeah. <laughs> which, by the way, genius idea with the. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> with the massage it, chairs. I, a guy was over there taking a nap earlier. So y'all got a 45,000 square foot manufacturing yeah. facility so, and, and everything here is gonna be made in that facility, right? Everything right. about this boat. Yes. Right? So, so we do manufacture everything. We are able to do our bimini tops in shop, our ski racks man. in shop. We, we roll the aluminum for the holes in shop. The wood is of course in shop. The only thing we don't man. do in shop is build the electronics. And wow. we wire them there, but we don't build them. And so you got you got more than just this one layout. Cause I know up there I've yeah. seen, I haven't seen it in person yet, yeah. but I have seen the, you know, the pictures of it. And that's uh -huh. apparently that was the first boat y'all ever yeah, made. So, the, uh, the that one was one built 18 years ago and it's still perfectly fine today. It's and y'all finally put another clear coat on yeah, it? Yeah, you know, we had it, it was 18 years, it so it was around. We actually, wow. it was only 12 years uh, and we had to do it again. So it actually lasted longer than we thought with the clear coat. Wow. But yeah, it's still kicking perfect today. I know someone said earlier, it's like, yeah. Well, one, we get, they say, well, this isn't real wood. Yeah, they you think know, it's a wrap. Like, yeah, find out it is real wood. It and is. then two, they're like, well, I don't want to deal with the maintenance of having to put that, yeah, and, and, and that and coating a, on every yeah. year. And, that's, and yeah. what they get that from is like, a lot of the old wood boats they have, I mean, the clear coat technology and all that has changed a lot since back in the day. And it's the clear coat we use is a little bit different than the one they use like on tables and stuff. Yeah. This is a lot more heavy duty. It lasts a lot longer. It's very heat resistant. Like it, the heat won't mess with up the sun, yeah. the UV rays, they won't mess it up. And so your dad, the way I heard how this came to be about, because it's, I think it's a pretty, it's pretty good story. I mean, it really I, is, yeah. me, I mean, me personally, your dad, you know, going from building buildings like this, right? Yeah. That's what he does on a daily basis, building yeah. huge buildings, uh, industrial. And, and we'll then see. all of a sudden you're telling him, daddy, yeah. we need to build a boat. We need to build a boat. Yeah. And y'all come so, up with uh, this, huh? What really started is we didn't have a boat. We didn't really have anywhere to go for vacation or nothing like that. We always yeah. wanted, we liked going out to the water and the lake, but we didn't have a boat to go out on. Yeah. So my dad being a construction worker and owns a fab shop, he's yeah. like, you know what? He's going to build his own boat. So he takes it <laughs> to the shop. He starts working on it, him and a group of like four or five other guys. They work days in and days out getting this boat ready. And they, did a, they had a couple of different hole designs on the bottom because that wood it is so heavy that a regular pontoon cannot hold it. And we just we figured that out by accident. We had, we had like four or five different designs that we had to try before we finally got it right like it is now. Wow. So it took about a year of playing with the different designs and the hole designs to actually get it where it would perform like this. And it is really, I mean, it's, it's an amazing ride. Um, well, you definitely don't expect the, the ride that you get out of this boat out of a heavy, pontoon boat when you look at it, right? It's heavy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. You know, it just... I mean, it shocks a lot of people. And, you know, we could sit here and preach it all we want to, but unless you ride one, you don't really know how good it is. You can watch videos, and yeah, it, I mean, you can see it perform great on the videos, but man, the ride is something else. It's smooth, I mean, I mean, nice, you, stable ride. You like the way she looks, wait till you see the way she rides. That's right. That, that is something else. I that's, like it. That's a good one. And if you wanted to get a pontoon boat like this, you know, comparable, right? Some of these other uh, manufacturers that are, you know, put out their top of the line boat. Yeah. Uh, price wise, are we kind of, are we kind of close with them? So, um, um, how does that, how we does that are, look? 
We're actually a little bit below the price range uh, for the, especially the high-end Barlettas, your Godfrey's, okay. uh, your Bennington's and all that. And the Harris, but okay. They get up okay. into the mid 200,000 ranges, like 250, something like that. This one right here, and each one is different. They're all customized to your uh, the customer's preference. Right, okay. This one right here was about 185,000. Uh, that comes with a motor wow. and everything. All so you're talking features. about less, less than what you can get a, a, a higher end pontoon boat from one of the yeah, other mainline exactly. manufacturers. You're about, you're looking less, like, less than that, and it's fully customized to, fully to you, custom, to, to you, that person. Whatever you want. You wow. want a smaller boat, we can do small. You want bigger, we can do bigger. Any and, floor plan, any console design. And this one here is 20, 27 feet. 27 um, foot, four inches. It's okay. got a eight foot and a half beam length width. Can, um, it, can we put it on a regular, um, can you put it on a regular pontoon boat, uh, a trailer? Or is it, no, well, or do y'all make those trailers we as actually, well? Because it's different. You know, when so. you buy the boat, you come for the trailer. We build the trailers in house also. Okay. Wow. Because our whole design is kind of different, so you gotta yeah. have a special trailer for it. But we build those. All right. Thanks. Thanks for uh, thanks for showing us all that. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of good yeah. information yeah. today. Yeah. Um, you guys make sure that y'all y'all come and check out Bailey Custom Boats. Um, the website is uh, baileycustomboats.com. You can um, also follow us on social media: uh, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Bailey Custom Boats. We'd love to have y'all come check our pages out, see a little bit more, see for yourself how it operates and runs. Y'all come see us.